Welcome back. It is Tuesday, May 30th, and the MLB, our three favorite picks are on the way. I'm Austin, joined by Logan. Let's recap yesterday. Another solid two-on-one day. That's what we do. We get winning days. We can't get that sweep, but we'll take a two-on-one day. Logan with a great call. Guardians money line. They get done at plus 130. I had the Jose Ramirez. He helped you out. Josh Young. Both get a hit. Pretty easy in the day. And then our only loss was the Angels and White Sox. No one first inning. Nerf Nation still hovering at 27 and 27, I believe, on the year. Hopefully, we can get a winner for you all today. But if that wasn't good enough, well, if you checked out our parlay of the day, that cashed as well. We have another one at the top. Link in the description. Three players each get a hit. Go check it out. But Logan... You know what day it is. It's Tuesday. It's Dinger <laughs> Tuesday. And a lot of people might be like, what the heck's Dinger Tuesday? It is a FanDuel promo where you pick guys at home runs. Logan and I have actually been pretty good at this over the last three weeks. Both of us have picked a homer, a home run pick each of the last two weeks or three weeks. We've actually both collabed and gotten both of the two guys to hit a homer on the same day, two of the last three Thursdays. So if that's not good enough, we're doing a giveaway today. If one of our guys hits a home run, we're giving away a hundred bucks to one random COS all-star or dub club person. So you got to pay for that, but that is our, our paying subscription. It's it's less than $6 a month for either of those. And then the other one, if somehow both of the guys get a hit, our home run, we are going to give away $500, 250 of it to one random COS or sub person subscribed to the channel. So let's go down below, hit that subscribe button, drop a like too if you want to, and 250 to one random paying member, either in the dub club or a COS all-star. So Logan, to build suspense, give me your regular pick and then you can talk about Dinger Tuesday. Yeah, I, I love Dinger Tuesday. It's a fun day to bet. But in my pick, it's not a fun pick because it's an under. I'm going to the Phillies versus Mets game, and I'm taking the under four and a half total runs through the first five innings, plus 100 odds on FanDuel's currently your best value. Yeah, I know. Just get get it out. I hate when Logan picks unders. Yeah, I, I don't like them either, right? No one likes rooting for an under. But I think we see a low-scoring game through five innings in this one. If you want to take the full game uh, under eight and a half, I don't mind that either, but I just am staying away from that one because these two bullpens can be really hit or miss every now and then. So I'm just targeting the starting pitchers through five innings. And who's starting for the Mets? It's Kodai Senga. He's been, he's been really good this year. 3.94 ERA, 1.52 whip. Now that whip is pretty high, but look at his home road splits, right? At home is where, where I'm really targeting. 1.57 ERA on a 1.17 whip at home so you you've got a sub two era at home where he finds himself today i think first time through the order the phillies will have difficulty seeing kodai Senga. i mean he's got a, a lot of really good pitches he's got the off-speed work and he's got the ghost fork ball one of his patented pitches so i i think the the phillies are going to have a, a tough time seeing him and last time i actually backed kodai Senga at home he had 12 Ks against the Rays. Remember that that epic Mets versus Rays game? I could see him racking up the strikeouts against the Phillies as well because they're 22nd in strikeouts. This this Phillies offense is just anything but consistent. I, can, I can't trust them game in and game out to really be able to put up any sort of consistent runs. The Phillies are the type of team to have two on, nobody out, and get nothing out of it. I've seen it a million times, and I could once again see it today. Now, who's starting for the Phillies today? It's Ranger Suarez. You look at his, that, those numbers, 9.82 ERA and a two whip. Those aren't good numbers at all. So why are we backing him today? Well, his expected ERA is a 4.86. He's a better pitcher than a 10 ERA. I'll tell you that right now. Ranger Suarez was one of the reasons why the Phillies made a World Series run last year. He was really good for them, especially late down the stretch. Starting out this year a little bit slow, but against the Mets in 2022, Suarez, 3.72 ERA and a 1.12 whip. Those numbers are pretty solid, and I, I think with that, with a whip barely above one last year against the Mets, we'll be able to dial in some of that magic once again today. This season, Suarez's hard hit percentage is only 29.7%, and his barrel percentage is only 5.4%, which are two metrics that obviously judge hard hit percentage, and I, I can't have Suarez being like 45 or even close to 50% hard hit percentage. So the fact that he is slightly above or slightly below 30% it means that you know, the Mets shouldn't really have a ton of extra base hit opportunities against him today. And the Mets are 19th in batting average and 19th in OPS versus lefties. The Mets offense isn't what they were last year. They've just been really you know hit or miss this year as well. So I'm going to go ahead and take my chances on the first five under between these two teams. I think we just see a lower scoring game out of the gate. And if they, if they go over in the first five and go under in the full game, I'll just be sitting here shaking my head. But I do like the under in the first five. So hopefully that does work out for us. Now, it is Dinger Tuesday, something Austin and I have had a lot of fun with on this channel. And if, you, if you're not a fan, do better. You should be because that's where this the promo lives. And for my pick today, I'm going to the Astros game. And I'm taking Kyle Tucker of the Astros to record a home run. Plus 420 odds there. Look, Kyle Tucker is a great hitter at home. And I think he, he absolutely has a chance against Joe Ryan today. Joe Ryan does throw hard and he is a crafty specialist. 
But what have I always said? Pitchers that throw hard also do give up hard contact, which could result in home runs. And I think Kyle Tucker, the lefty, has a good chance today. But Austin, your Dinger Tuesday prop, what do you got for the people? Yeah, I'm going to one of the later games on the slate, the Braves Athletics game. And I'm going to a lot of people are going to be like Matt Olson, Austin Riley, Ronald Acuna. No, I'm going to the five foot eight short king, Ozzy Albies. I'm taking him plus 430 to hit a home run. I look at JP Sears. He's pretty solid, but he is a lefty. Gives up, I think, 12 home runs, one of the top in the league. And Ozzy Albies, if there's anything he's good at, it's hitting lefties. That's five homers and only 62 at bats versus lefties this year. I think Ozzy's got a good chance. So we got both these two guys, Kyle Tucker, Ozzy Albies. If one of them hits a home run, we're giving away $100 to our random COS All-Star or Dub Club user. If you want to become one, just go check, check the links down below in the description. Or hit that join button. And if somehow both hit a homer, which would be the second straight week, we both picked two winners. We're giving away $250 to one random person that just subscribes to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. And $250 to one random paying member that's in the All-Star or a, uh, in our Dub Club. Let's dive into my favorite play, though, because we're going back to the hit parlay. We have another three-leg hit parlay on dimers top link in the description but this one is going to two guys that we've trusted this year before spencer steer and ty france each to record a hit plus 125 on FanDuel. now steer plays for the reds and uh, france plays for the mariners but you could see i'm betting this on FanDuel. and if you've been watching the videos recently you're like awesome you normally tell us to avoid FanDuel at all costs and that's right i normally do not bet these on FanDuel. however i'm willing to take the risk for the extra value here that both Steer and France are in the lineup. Now, if you do this on DraftKings, which I don't blame you there, it's plus 105, whereas on FanDuel, this is plus 125. Personally, I think taking the extra risk of just these guys playing today is worth that extra, you know, plus 125 to plus 105 kind of thing. But obviously, if you want to play DraftKings, play it safe. You can do that. Now, people might be like, why are you do, do you avoid FanDuel? Well, because if they do not start and they somehow pinch hit in the eighth or ninth inning and don't get a hit in that one, FanDuel's going to grade it as a loss. Whereas DraftKings will get graded as a void as they did not start. But I'm confident both guys are out there. Now, let's talk about Spencer Steer. He's been really good for us before. And so far this year, batting 284 on the season, 311 in May, and he bats 282 versus righties. So there's normally not a big difference between righties or lefties. He's going to face a righty today in Brian Bello. Now, I struggled choosing between different hitters here. I looked at Steer, I looked at Jonathan India, I looked at Matt McLean. Consider Matt McLean shot it to him last that last dinger Tuesday for Logan. But I landed on Steer, and there's a couple reasons why. The main reason are the pitches that he's going to see. Now, here's the pitches Bellow throws versus how Steer hits those pitches. You're going to see Bellow's going to throw a lot of sinkers, sliders, changeups, and four seam fastball, all those above 40% of the, or 20% of the time. And then you look at Steer versus those pitches sinker 283, slider 244, changeup 400 and a four-seam fastball, 282. So he's seen all these pitches and hit them pretty well. There are guys on this Reds roster that some some of them don't see some of those pitches pretty well. So I like the fact that Steer is normally pretty consistent against all the pitches. He's not a guy that's really swinging for a home run. This guy that just likes to put the ball on plate. Really like him today. I think Spencer Steer can get us a hit. And if he struggles versus Bellow, don't worry. The Red Sox bullpen will come in and help you out, give him a bunch of run opportunities. Normally, that's third in the lineup against righties. Confident he gets a hit, a hit today. Now, that's going to be earlier on. I think the 7 10 start. This one's a later on, 9 40. going to tie France, who was at a slump early on, I think in April, but turn it around and he's going up as at home against the lefty, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Now, it's France at 294 versus left handed pitchers, 308 at home. And today he gets a lefty at home, Nestor Cortez. Now, Cortez allowing 267 batting average versus right handed batters this year actually struggling versus righties lefties he's been pretty good against but look Cortez he's taking a step back last year he was really really dominant this year he hasn't been as good he's still a good pitcher I'm not going to come out here and say you know what Cortez is tossing out batting practice today but I still think a guy like France can get out there and get a hit he's going to bat second in the lineup so should see plenty of plate appearances here and again the re one of the biggest reasons I'm here are the pitches that he's going to see you look at the pitches Nestor Cortez is going to throw a four seam fastball 52 percent of the time cutter 30 percent and then a sweeper sprinkled in there 13 percent of the time look at France against these pitches four seamer 315 batting average cutter 438 sweeper 286 so those are in fact i think three i think those are the top three pitches for france to hit might be three of the top four if there's pitches that france struggles against it's gonna be a sinker and a slider which cortez throws less than three percent combined either of those pitches so i really like france against the pitches he's going to see from a guy like nestor cortez if you're curious where i find these pitches stats that is on baseball savant it's a really good website if you want to check it out but either way spencer steer Hi, France. Each to record hit doesn't have to be that difficult. Go get it done. We need them both in the lineup today, but I'm confident they are. Let's get cash those. Let's cash our Dinger Tuesday prop. And next, do we need to cash Nerfy Nation? Come on, get the flags out. Let's let's win this. Let's win a Nerfy. We need six quick outs, Logan. We need this. We need this in the worst way. Yesterday, it was a bad call, but today's going to be a good one, and I'm feeling good about it. Let's go to it.
Rockies and Diamondbacks taking the nowhere in first inning, minus 105 on BetMGM. A later start here at 9.40 p.m. Eastern time start. So hopefully we're going to bed with an, some extra cash in our pockets. But let's talk about why we're on this one. And we're going to start with Zach Allen, who's going to start for the Diamondbacks. He's a guy that I normally like to trust, especially at home. Nine and two on no one first innings. The Rockies away from Coors were in Arizona. Look, the Rockies 25th in first inning runs. They've really struggled, obviously, away from Coors. Gallon's been really good at home. I'm confident he can get us those first three outs. I, I can't lose on a gallon giving up a run, but if, who's up on the other side, Logan? Yeah, we need Kyle Freeland to get us those last three outs we need, and I think he can actually do so. He's been pretty good on no run first innings this year. He's been 8-3 and three on nerfies this year. He already has nerfied versus the Diamondbacks earlier in a start this year, so I hope he can dial in once again. Diamondbacks 24th in first inning runs. We know Arizona and Colorado, for that matter, are some of those slower starting offenses. First time through the order, I think he's actually solid enough to get this one done. The over-under is eight, right? Zach Allen nor normally has starts. They're, they're normally sl slower starting, lower scoring through five innings. So I think we do have a really good chance of cashing this one. Just need three outs on one side, three outs on the other. Yesterday was just a, a, a terrible call. But today, I feel really good about it. Nerfy Nation, let's fly the flags. Let's, let's cash out. Let's have another one. I'd be curious to go back and look at our record on Nerfies the day after losing one. Because I, I, I'd like to think it's pretty, pretty high that when we lose one, we normally win the next day. Hopefully that is the case today. We can turn this into a nerfy hot streak. Let's start it today on Tuesday. Rockies, Diamondbacks, no one for stinning. Ty Francis, that Spencer Steer to each get a hit. Then that little dinger Tuesday giveaway we're doing with Kyle Tucker and Ozzy Albies and Logan's pick the Mets and Phillies under four and a half first five. Let's have a great day. Let's have a great Tuesday. Let's give away some money. We'll see you guys back again tomorrow for some more picks. Peace.